Abgeordneten. Get next to your brother. Not all good. I am. Goodness, why I mustn't. You all right? Yeah, what about it? to marry his soulmate? Yeah, so right. <laughs> and she looks beautiful. I bet she does. Look at these masks. I know. Shocking, isn't it? Now I need a signature from uh, Nicola. Nicola, you're the other witness. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to film it, you want to stand here. Oh, thank you. If you stand in here, you'll see them directly, and then you're not in the way of the registrar neither. Okay. That's yeah. lovely. Thank you. There's the anvil. This one. This one. Is good. Yeah. Okay. All done. All done. Thank you. Actually, not answering messenger or so FaceTime. Is that Wesley Zoo? Is that Australia? Yeah. 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 You look very smart. It's the middle of the night there. It's a bit of a. Yeah, I'm going to turn it on. Yeah, I'm going to turn it on. Yeah, I'm going to turn it on. Jordan, if you stand one and either side, then you can take your mask. Yeah. Unfortunately, everybody else has got to keep it on. Nicola. No, you're standing a bit in. Jordan, sorry. Right. <laughs> you look even more beautiful without a mask. Oh. <laughs> It's really funny when I see people with masks on, I think, and quite often I get a wee shock when <laughs> they take the masks off. Yeah, Sometimes it's a good shock. Yeah. Right, now you can hold their hand if you want. Yeah. And am I right in saying you've not chosen vows for today? No. Well, to be quite happy if I use the, the vows I would normally use. Yeah. Okay. It's very straightforward, and as I said earlier, you just follow my lead. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. Martin and Lauren, I would like to welcome you, Nicola and Mum, and Jordan here today to the old blacksmith shop in Gretna Green. We are all going to share with you in your wedding ceremony. Through your vows, you will be making a commitment with each other. My name is Lindsay McPhee. I am an assistant registrar appointed by the Registrar General for Scotland as a person who can solemnise civil marriages as laid down by the Marriage Scotland Act 1977. Before we go any further, I would like you both just to confirm your identities. Are you Martin David Buxton? Yes. Good. And are you Lauren Luke? Yes. Good. We're here today so that I can solemnise your marriage in the presence of your witnesses Jordan, Nicola and Mum and in accordance with the law of Scotland. And I confirm that the requirements of that law preliminary to your marriage have been satisfied. Before you, Martin, and you, Lauren, are joined in marriage, it is my duty to remind you of the binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage, according to the laws of this country, is a union of two people who voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. I now require that you make a declaration accepting each other as husband and wife. Now, the first part of the vows you will make to me because you are both telling me you know you are free to marry and the second part you will make to each other. So I'll start with you, Martin. I, Martin David Buxton. I, Martin David Buxton. Solemnly and sincerely declare. 
solemnly and sincerely declare that I know of no legal impediment that I know of no legal impediment to my marrying Lauren Luke. To my marrying Lauren Luke. Now you, Lauren. I, Lauren Luke. I, Lauren Luke. Solemnly and sincerely declare. Solemnly and sincerely declare that I know of no legal impediment. That I know of no legal impediment to my marrying Martin David Buxton. To my marrying Martin David Buxton. Turn and face each other and hold both hands, please. Now you again, Martin. I, Martin, accept you, Lauren. I, Martin, accept you, Lauren. As my lawful wedded wife. As my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To the exclusion of all others. The exclusion of all others. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Well done. Now you, Lauren. I, Lauren, accept you, Martin. I, Lauren, accept you, Martin. As my lawful wedded husband. As my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To the exclusion of all others. To the exclusion of all others. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Well done. Now you're going to change. You're now going to exchange rings. This is the traditional way of sealing the vows you just made and the outward sign of the lifelong promises you just made to each other. Martin, if you take Lauren's ring first, please. Third finger, left hand. Lauren, with this ring, I thee wed. Lauren, with this ring, I thee wear it. Wed. There's always one. <laughs> you like your fingers, Lauren. <laughs> okay, and now the uh, Martin ring. And same again. Martin, with this ring, I thee wed. Martin, with this ring, I thee wed. <laughs> Make you sure that's not coming. It's yeah. not. <laughs> that's what you said as well. <laughs> Martin and Lauren, you have made here today the declarations that are prescribed by law and a solemn and binding contract with each other. You have sealed that contract with the giving and receiving of rings. May you always love honour and cherish one another. May nothing ever part you. And may you have a long and rich life together. And now, by virtue of the declarations made by you both in my presence and the presence of you, Mrs. Jordan, Nicola and Mum, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs> Now I can't shake your hand, I can do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to carry about. Now, you could come across here and we'll do the signing. The pen has been sanitised. Yeah. I could yeah. ask you just yeah. to, yeah. Just just to pop, yeah. pop your masks on for, for this part. This part. Couple of minutes because after we've done this, oh. you're going to go back behind the anvil because I've got one more thing to do for you before before we all okay. we all leave. Right, Martin, your normal signature in the eight. Now, Lauren, yeah, when you sign, you will sign using the name Luke because that's who you've come into the ceremony as today. Okay. When you get your marriage certificate, it still says Lauren Luke, and all it is, it's a piece of paper that says you have legally. And you are now legally married and you can call yourself whatever you want. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So I find So people get very confused about yeah. why, why my name not changed yeah. because you double barrel it, you keep your own name, yeah. sometimes the man takes the lady's name. So now is that this L that you've signed in? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I was explaining to Martin that uh, 
when they, I'm back in the office on Wednesday and I'll do your certificate then in a free course. Yes, yes. Okay, so right. I want to go track the hand down, yeah, please. Yeah, come on, darling. Oh, well, you alright? Tough on the pin. Yeah. <laughs> you just didn't need a wee truck to carry oh, them, no. <laughs> Is that what the witnesses are for, to carry the dress? <laughs> <laughs> So yours goes on top of Lauren's car. <laughs> the significance of the angle, do you know? Will I tell you my wee story? Right. Obviously you're both over the age of consent, so it doesn't apply to you. But in the old days, age of consent in England was much, much higher than it was in Scotland. And you met somebody and you fell madly in love with them and mum and dad didn't like your choice for whatever reason, did not want you to be married. So you were defiant. And you got on your horse and you hot footed it across the border. <laughs> the first place you would come to that would perform a marriage ceremony would have been a blacksmith. In the course of a blacksmith's day, he puts two pieces of metal into the forge, brings it out when it's quite hot, puts it on the anvil, strikes the metal on the anvil to meld the two pieces of metal together. Today I have done that with your two hearts over the anvil. They're now melded together together forever, never to be parted. Okay, and that's your license. Okay? Thank you. Kiss the bride. All the very best for the Thank future. you very much. You look after each other, oh, but mostly importantly, stay safe and have a safe journey home. Yes. Okay. And I hope you have a good life together. Just wait there. And look after each other. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Thank all you. the best. Have a safe journey home, ladies. Cheers, thank you very much. Cheers, Lindy. Thank you. 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 Thank you.